Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Good afternoon, good afternoon, it's your boy d and welcome to my first episode of my incredible podcast. Now, before we commence any further, please do not forget to Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys, recommend my channel to everybody that you know, follow me on Instagram, and of course, enjoy! Our top story today shall be Tommy Lauren, the well-known 28-year-old conservative commentator and former television host. Now, her name started to come up very recently because a lot of you have seen her from an Instagram podcast video that she made herself. Check this out. This is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. Make Wow, oh, what a nasty feminist temper she's got there. <clears throat> now, needless to say, this video received not only tons of attention and lots of spotlight shined on this video, but also a lot of hate, especially backlashes from certain communities such as the MGTOW community, the Red Pill community, and more. Now, I have taken the time to review this work that she made on this video, and I will be 100% blunt and honest with you, okay? I was beyond insulted and disrespected by some of the statements that this female made, okay? I believe that what she did was that she started a gender war between men and women. More straight to the point, she started saying things like men are trash, she has standards, the problem is not with women, it's with men, don't chase men, like, you know, men who think they're men, but they're little boys and etc. So, this shall be named as part one of the Tommy Lauren PSA for boyish men. She also, in addition to that, she also started to crucify men and accuse them of not putting in enough work. So, I would like all of us as a family to sit down right now and review this video together. I'm only going to point out the key parts of this video that speaks to the heart of her words. Let's get it on. This is a PSA for all the men out there and all the boys who think they're men, but they're actually boys. Well, excuse me, your highness. Well, in that case, this is going to be a response slash reaction video to all the females out there like yourself who think they're women, but they're actually little children. Now, I've often talked about the pussification of America and how men are no longer men. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not, they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. What? In the age range of about 20 to, I think, about 55, maybe even 60. A lot of men are trash. Whoa, now, Tommy Lauren, let me assure you one thing, and you need to understand this, okay? <clears throat> the men in this country are absolutely 100% not trash. You know what this tells me? This tells me more than likely you've been dealing with men that actually have a fucking spine and they know how to stand up for themselves against a female like yourself that has a whole list of unreasonable expectations and unreasonable standards. First question for men, are you single? No, I don't mean are you kind of single, seeing five people, dating somebody, still kind of in a relationship. Are you actually single single? That means single. You have nobody. You have no complications. You have no attachments. That is the first question, believe it or not, that needs to be asked. So here's how I would answer to that question if she were to ask this question to me. Yes, I'm single. Just like that. If she starts asking if I'm seeing other women, even though that is none of her business, I would respond... You do know that real men do not kiss and tell. At the end of the day, it is none of her business to know who I'm dating, and it's the same thing the other way around. It's none of my business to know who she's dating. Period. Women do not want a pen pal. We don't want a texting pal. We quite frankly don't care if you text us all day or if you don't text us at all. So there is a portion of her statement that I will actually agree with her on. Gentlemen, this is very important to understand this, okay? Listen up. Do not, I repeat, do not waste your time texting some female about anything. Because when you do that, 
she will eventually pick up the hint that you have nothing important going on in your life. And she just became the focus of your life. Just keep that in mind. Let's continue. But that also leads me to my second point. Make plans. Make a plan. Gentlemen, ask yourself this question. Who in their right mind would want to date a female like this one that just has a constant tendency of bitching and yapping and complaining on a daily basis? God damn, your highness, there is no need to have an attitude, baby. I know it's not rocket science, but men of 2020, it seems like it's pretty difficult for you to figure out. What? And I'm not a feminist, so please don't take this as a feminist rant. You may not look like a feminist, but you definitely sound like a feminist that we see on television bashing men over the smallest and simplest thing. I love men. I think men are great. I think men have failed themselves, and they failed us. Holy shit, I cannot believe this is actually happening. Alright, you know what? I will be fair. Not all of the men in this country have the slightest hint on how to interact with a female. I get that. I understand that. However, Tommy, where you crossed the line is the moment when you said that all men are trash. And no, men have not failed themselves. Where you females have failed is the basic concept of communication. This next thing I'm going to say is to all of you females out there. You have automatically assumed that all men know how to flirt with women and how to ask a woman out and vice versa. You females, you, t you have a tendency of talking in circles. You tend to beat around the bush. You tend to throw out subtle hints out there and you just expect men to understand what you really mean. That is where you females failed. Lack of communication. That is what you females need to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and say them because they need to be said. I am really so sick of my friends having to deal with trash men. I am tired of dealing with trash men. Okay, I need to say something before you proceed, Tommy. Can you stop saying that men are trash? Because when you say that, you're only throwing gasoline in the fire. You're not doing anything to solve the situation. I don't want to hear that statement again. Value, value. Okay? Value, value. Take that in. Just repeat it to yourself until it makes sense. Oh, okay. That sounds reasonable. Value, value. Value, value. Value, value. Value, value. No! God damn it! Just... Okay. Once again, as I stated earlier, you females have a lack of decent communication. You have to start finding ways of telling things to us men in a straightforward manner. No beating around the bush. No running in circles. Just give it to us straight. If you want to date a girl that has nothing going on, then that's fine. But please do not mix in people like me and my friends with your other girls that have nothing going on. And quite frankly, we take it as an insult if we find out that you are also talking to five Tatianas who have nothing going on. It's just like I said earlier, who in their right mind would want to date a female like this one. As I stated earlier, it is none of your business as to who else I'm dating. We're not trying to mix you up with the other females. Quite frankly, the way I see it, Tommy, you are the one who's getting jealous over the other guy that you're dating that just happens to date other females. The jealousy part, that's your issue. That's your insecurity, not his. But I would say to the men out there, Try to maybe find a woman that you can talk to, communicate with, might actually be ambitious and have something going on or want to have something going on. She doesn't have to be on TV. She doesn't have to be a PhD. She doesn't have to be a television producer. Those women are out there are gonna be a lot more fulfilling to you. You're actually gonna enjoy your time. That's probably the kind of girl you're gonna need to find. Not the Tatianas who just wanna look cute and post Instagram stories. I cannot believe this is actually happening. Like, the irony is just so great. Tommy, here's the irony. You are the Tatiana that's looking cute in front of the fucking camera during this video, and you posted this Instagram story. Oh my god! That was just so fucking mind-blowing. Look how much of a fucking genius I am. Let's continue. Now, I love a good Instagram story. Y'all know I do. But if that's all you do, men, if that's all she does, Probably Houston we have a problem more like DEFCON 5 We've got a fucking problem and we got to fucking fix it right now The next thing on my list is this consistency 
if you are really cool and you're really interested when you first start talking to them and all of a sudden you're not consistent anymore, you don't make plans, you don't really care, you're talking to five other Tatianas. Now, if you wanna be inconsistent and you wanna ghost and you wanna fall off the radar, we aren't gonna really give a shit after that. I swear, this female is so insecure of herself, it's the reason why she's making all kinds of fuck-ups against herself. Basically, what she really means is, if you stop pursuing me, I'm just gonna ghost you, and you have lost the privilege to speak to me ever again. Have a nice life. That's basically what she means through those statements. I must say, judging by what we have heard so far, it does look like she knows how to manipulate a bunch of guys and getting them to do whatever she wants. At the end of the day, she just expects to get her ass kissed by a bunch of beta male simps that have nothing going on in their lives. That's fucking bottom line. If you have then failed and you lost a woman of value, like myself or my friends, and then we don't really care anymore, Don't be a bitch. Don't be butt hurt. You did it to yourself. No, Tommy. You did it to yourself. You call yourself a woman of value when the reality is you're just trying to string along as many guys as you possibly can. Tommy, you are simply upset that you are about to hit 30. So you know what that means? It means you are about to hit the wall quite soon. So think of it this way. You've already lived through your prime years. Now it's time to get off of the cock carousel ride and let the brand new 21 year old females get on. Your time is over. Get off. That's not me being a bitch. That's not me being difficult. That's me having a standard in which I expect from people. Oh my God. I do have high standards and high expectations. My friends have high standards and high expectations. And that is the reason why your taste in men fucking sucks now. You just lost Brandon Frick, a professional soccer player who's ready to run office. That man is literally the definition of a successful man, and you thought dumping him was the best option? Get a fucking clue, Tommy. That's why we have the ability to be somewhat what you call difficult. It's not difficult. Actually, yes, you are being difficult, and that's the fucking issue that you're having right now. We just have a baseline standard, and if you can't meet that standard, that's okay. A lot of men cannot. This is where I'm going to disagree with you. Your so-called standards, they're the reason why men in general are just so fed up with manipulative bitches like yourself that only care about what you want. And you know what that's called? That's called self-entitlement. In order to have a shot with a girl like me or girls like my friends, you don't really have to be Brad Pitt. You don't have to be famous. You don't even really have to make a lot of money. You just have to be determined. You have to be in some way successful. You can handle a woman with standards and you're gonna put in the effort to be with somebody like myself or my friends. We deserve that. Okay, I need to stop you right there and make a few corrections, okay? You do not deserve shit, okay? You expect us men to bow down, kiss your ass, and make us do all of the work just to be with you? I don't fucking think so. Good fucking luck trying to find a beta male nice guy simp that will kiss your ass for the rest of his precious life. The only thing that I will agree with her on is that a man must have goals and must be driven in order to achieve something. Okay, he's trying to get a little better each and every day, but us men should never compromise our time and our values just to please the misses. Okay, that is not gonna happen. It will be a cold day in hell when I chase a man. Okay, what's wrong with chasing a man? Like, as a woman, that is natural feminine behavior. And I know that's the same thing for my friends as well. And if my friends are listening and they're thinking about chasing a man, Please, for the love of God, do not. That might be the most retarded advice you just gave to your friends, let alone to all women. I'm going to share with you some wise words that one of my coaches taught me. Chasing a man is natural feminine behavior. That's fucking bottom line. Masculine energy is all about achieving new things, accomplishments, breaking through barriers, overcoming challenging obstacles, and so forth. Feminine energy is about bonding, connecting, opening up to receive love and praise and so forth. So, judging by the way you're talking to your audience, you are completely 
in your masculine energy with your pissed off face bobbling your head in all sorts of directions the bitchy tone of your voice all of that tells me that you just have a shit fucking attitude towards men that's the main point we have all dealt with men who treat us like we are not good enough so have we us men we've also dealt with all sorts of bitches that treated us like dog shit no the problem is we are too enough and you can't handle it notice how condescending she sounds when she talks like that like telling us that we cannot handle women like her gentlemen let's make this simple why would you waste your precious time with a female like this one? In the end, she can bitch and complain all she wants, but that is not going to fix anything. That is only going to make the problem worse. So, in conclusion, those are my thoughts about this video. And at the end of the day, all she's doing is throwing gasoline in the fire and not doing anything to fix it. So, this concludes part one of Tommy Lauren PSA for boyish men. And we will feature part two very soon. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to Hulk smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys. Recommend my channel to everybody that you know. Follow me on Instagram. And every single one of you, please have a safe and sound day. Peace.